have assessed our encounter with the Netherbrake from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Alithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prison to face the brain. Assimilate him? Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. I will consume his thoughts, his knowledge, his brain. So you would kill him? He is Gith's heir. You'd be the Gith Yankee people's betrayer. You'd be my betrayer. I realize he is of some significance to you, but he is of even more value to our cause. still don't trust me. After all we've been through, remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid, prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since, at no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader, but I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you, not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy, the same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential, all while protecting you from harm. And when you saw what I truly am, you did not reject me. You enjoyed me. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the Netherstones to me. I told you we have to trust one another. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. You leave me no option but to join the Nether Brain. His eyes are unseeing, his voice silenced. But even with his mind caged, you can feel his power. The gate is gone. Our mission is set. Smash the crystals with the hammer and free the Prince of the Comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the Netherbrain.
to meet your end. A silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You fornicated with a mind flayer. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty, the Prince of the Comet gives true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. That is true. And it would have been the honorable outcome for one destined to become Geek. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. They would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for the choices you made. for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Illithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. There is not. We face a Nether Brain. For there to be one way to defeat it is unlikely enough. There will not be another. Consider, yes, but know that the answer is already foretold. This is the only way to stop the grand design. Whatever prevents you from doing what is necessary, face it. Overcome it. Return to me when you are ready to transform. <laughs> 